we got to update you on uh, our former president, yes. Trump. His big social media <laughs> effort. You know, he announces a thing, Truth Social, um, and some of the first things we learn, um, Devin Nunes mm. is the CEO. All right. Hilarious. Yeah, um, yeah. Another thing we learn is that I guess the tech for it was basically just like ripped off yep. from another platform. It's basically Twitter, only supposedly free speech, um, except they also have, uh, I guess, hired like an AI company to, you know, police some speech that's mm -hmm. on the platform. So this thing launches yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. yes. Yesterday. And on the App Store. On yeah. the a Apple App Store. And it does not go well. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put this tear sheet up on the screen. Something went wrong. Trump's Twitter knockoff suffers bumpy launch. Um, all kinds of people reported, first of all, they couldn't sign up at all. It just said something went wrong. Please try again. Then if they persisted, really determined to get on to Truth Social, they keep trying. Eventually, they might create an account. They might be able to enter a login and password. But then they're routed to, like, they get a, a, a screenshot on their phone that says they're in a wait list. Mm -hmm. I tried this yesterday. Ah, so and where did I, you end up on so the wait list? So I, I, here's my experience. First of all, I got the something went wrong thing a uh -huh. couple times. Then I get through the first step and it says, we're going to, you know, we're going to send you an email and verify your email. That email never comes. Um, I do it again. And that one does go through. And then eventually, like two hours later, I get the original email. Mm -hmm. So I get the, the first verification email. I click on it. And it takes me to the screen where it informs me, um, thank you for joining. Due to massive demand, we have placed you on our wait list. We love you. And you're not just another number to us. That is so sweet. <laughs> That's very I'm nice of them. But your wait list number is below 240,541. <laughs> My favorite part of this is um, it has a little, like, button that looks like you can refresh where you are in the wait list, yes. but it doesn't actually do anything. Oh, it doesn't work. It's just a photo. It, yeah, it's just a yeah. photo of a button that might make you think that they would update you. And then um, the other part of this is apparently, so when Devin Nunez, CEO, was asked about uh, how this is all going and when the bugs might be worked uh -huh. out— he said they hope to have the bu bugs worked out by the end of March. <laughs> That's the Why? time frame. This is the part I don't understand. Why did they launch this right now? There right. was no reason to. No Why one don't was you just, clamoring for this yeah, right no now. No one was like, you know what I need? Truth social in my life. That's exactly what's happening. I mean, I, this is obviously a colossal failure. You're much more brave than I am. I would never put that thing on my phone. There's no way I would trust whatever idiots are running this thing <laughs> in order to say that the security permissions are whatever. I don't think they're confident um, enough to have, like, yeah. you know, any sort of security. Maybe you're right. But yeah. then there's obviously going to be some, you know, massive gap or whatever for data that some Chinese hacker will exploit. So I, 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 I don't want I don't really want to touch that thing on my phone. <laughs> uh, look, I just think this is emblematic of everything Trump touches. I mean, everything the guy does is half-assed, is, you know, done in the most ridiculous way possible. But at the same time, you can never underestimate his power. Mm -hmm. Truth Social was one of the top most downloaded apps on the free store yesterday. So it's not like people didn't use it. I think it certainly will garner users. I I mean, my bigger problem with it is that the company is shady as hell in terms of its actual financing. It's through a SPAC, so they don't have to disclose a lot of the stuff. There's some questions around whether it's even okay for the former president to even be involved in this regarding SEC. And then also the company that's taking it public um, has shares, which are going up by a lot. And so there's lots of many billions of dollars to be made um, from this company. So look, all of it, is it a serious competitor to Twitter? I don't think so. I mean, all of these getters, Twitters, all of them just copy the functionality of these websites, not actually adding anything new yeah. as mm -hmm. to what's happening. I mean, and at the same time, didn't we already see that it's possible? Well, their terms of service have not yet been uh, scrutinized or whatever, but it's not like we all don't know that they're going to have their own kind of probably ridiculous type of censorship regime, all for the idea here of being explicitly like pro-truth 
truth, anti-censorship, but then can you go on and can you say anything bad about Trump himself, who's literally the owner of the company? I, that's how I always see these things playing out. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, look, I would love to see an alternative. I just don't think it really exists in its current format. We talked about this whenever it came to Rumble and to Joe Rogan. So yeah. I think it plagues the same problem. And uh, personally, I will never be downloading Truth Social. I'll, maybe, uh, I'll just <laughs> I, lay the marker out there. Now. Yeah, you should. Um, yeah, this is this is the issue with um, any of these companies that are like, we're going to be like YouTube, except yes. we're you know going to have different terms of service, basically. Right. We're going to be like Twitter, except, because what you end up doing is people have a lot invested in Twitter. I mean, if you've been on there a long time, the whole benefit of a, a social media platform is your social connections yeah. and that the people you want to follow are also on that platform. So the people who are going to move to the new, you know, whether it's Scatter or Truth Social or whatever it is, outside of people like me who are just mm -hmm. curious about whether it actually works or not, um, are going to be people who are, like, the most diehard. Um, and so you're going to get a pretty, like, narrow breadth of conversation in a lot of these places. The reason why somewhere like Substack has been successful is because they weren't just like, oh, we're just, you know, we're about free speech. They are about that, and they've been very consistent, very yes, great. Yes, props to them. Um, yeah. Absolutely. I think they're, you know, I think they've, also created a product that served a genuine need. And they expanded the market. They created something that's new, right. you know? So that's why they have, uh, as much as the content on there, they've tried to characterize it in the mainstream press as like fringe and it's just full of anti-vaxxers and all this. That's not remotely the case. I mean, the most um, popular politics newsletter on there is like a liberal Yeah, resistance doing, cringe. Yeah, right. it's Which like fine. doing like you know, historical yeah. whatever. And that's great. There's a bunch of never Trumpers on there who totally. have gigantic Huge platforms websites, yeah. and are wildly successful. So it truly has a, a large ideological breadth because it served a general genuine need and helped to expand the market. So those sorts of plays to me are a lot more interesting, putting Trump aside of it. And I do think, you know, having a politician run a supposed, with an interest in potentially getting elected president again, running a supposedly free speech site, that doesn't seem like something you should have a lot of confidence yeah, in. Yeah, and also just the idea, anything branded as truth is cringe. You know, somebody put this out there, it would have been funnier true, to I call think. it kafefe. That actually would have been funny. <laughs> I would have been like, that's funny. You know, it, 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 Trump famously tweeted this. Uh, it actually would have had it a little bit more of an oomph to the brand. This is just explicitly kind of like a boomer targeted app and then anybody who is already aligned with Trump. So you're actually putting a ceiling on your market when the whole point of social media is to have a network effect where the entire planet becomes and joins your platform. So yeah. look, that's the business analysis of this thing. Not a surprise in order to see it rolled out terribly. Not not unlike the Trump administration at all. Yeah. So mm, yeah. Indeed. Fun. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. That's right. Just as a reminder, you can become a premium subscriber today. Watch the full show completely uncut. Our reactions to each other's monologues. You get to listen to it. You get to ask us questions. All that good stuff. Link is right there in the description or at breakingpoints.com. Best of all, great way to say screw you to the mainstream media.